and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday from Seattle. Seattle, that's where we are today. But we're leaving. We're going north today, up to Edmonds. The weather is cold, but not snowy. So that's a really good thing. Glenn picked up the hire car last night. It wasn't overly happy. It wasn't overly happy. So My wild card didn't work out. My wild card cost me loads of extra money. I mean, tops, it should have been about $300 with everything in. And it's ended up being like 600 which is just a lot. Originally it was a thousand. Yeah. I refused to pay it. Yeah, there was there was car hire drama last okay. night. They'll so be getting a strongly worded email. <laughs> okay, Mr. Warner, let's hit the road. This hire car, well, it's not as shiny as the last one, and the engine sounds a bit ropey too. It's done a lot more. Bye bye, Red <laughs> Roof <laughs> Inn, and we're off. We're just merging onto I-5 North. The five is taking us right through the center of Seattle. We've got to stay on here for about another 11 miles. We're going over a bridge. I think it's called the Ship Canal Bridge, I think. You can't actually see a great deal. It's high. Wow, that's a bit of uh, infrastructure they're building there. So we missed our turning, so we're coming off at the next exit. In a quarter of a mile, turn left onto 220th Street Southwest. Absolutely amazing mountains straight ahead. I'm, I don't think the camera's going to pick them up, but boy, they are beautiful. So it looks like we're in Edmonds. We're only... Two miles. It's six minutes. Yeah, two miles away six minutes from our destination those amazing mountains are still ahead not far now mr warner so this is where we're going to be staying for the next couple of nights well you never guess what we just went into reception and i just uh, was saying that we're going to park in the car park because obviously we're way too early for checking in and they said oh you can check in now your room's ready i was like that's crazy so that's fabulous so we're just going to go and get our bag so we've checked in early oh, they are so lovely here. oh this is lovely this is my favorite hotel and hotel room yet mr warner's done good here well done mr warner well done this is a lovely room and we're here for not one not two but three nights so i'm really looking forward to our stay here so the great thing about today is that we're meeting michelle yeah we are and michelle lives just a little bit further north and she's driving down to see us today so we're really looking forward to meeting michelle later right michelle is here let's go say hello look we have <laughs> met michelle thank you so much for coming to of see us it's thank fabulous. you so we're just gonna have some lunch glenn has gone for this amazing burger michelle and marcel we've gone for the salmon which just smells gorgeous so i've gone key lime pie and that's a mixed berry cobbler, isn't it? Yeah. That looks delish. Oh. We have had such a lovely meal, haven't we? It was gorgeous. beautiful. And a brilliant view, and it was so lovely to meet you. It was so much fun. So lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for driving this way to come and see us. It was an absolute delight to meet you. We're going for a little bit of a walk now. Here we are. And hopefully tomorrow, we're, we're going to see Rodney and Shannon here. Beautiful boats here. Oh, look, there's one for sale there, Glenn. Nice big boat. Glenn loves this boat storage. The fact that they got little roofs. It's just such a beautiful day today. It's cold, but not as cold as it was yes. yesterday in Seattle. It's like not as windy. The air feels so clear. 
this is the restaurant where we had lunch. Oh wow, look at all the wood that's washed up. Look at that. That is amazing. Loads of wood. We watched some of this rolling in. And that's the ferry. We watched that coming and going while we was having lunch as well. Goodness, the only bit of ice and I just slipped over. Well, I'd like to think I did it quite elegantly, but of course, <laughs> it was in front of a group of people as well. Yeah. And they were like, are you all right? I was like, yes, I am, thank you. I can't believe I fell over in the ice. Not injured, so that's the main thing. Just my pride. <laughs> anyway, we're back at the hotel now. I'm gonna put my feet up, watch a bit of telly. Oh. They've got all the good stuff here. They've got a spiced apple cider. Kathy Mocha Vanilla Cocoa. Yeah, go on. Which one? Vanilla Cocoa. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. There's breakfast served at the hotel, so come on, let's go and grab some breakfast. Did you know? So we've had breakfast and that was lovely. I checked out the pancake making machine. It was genius, it really was. Anyway, today we're gonna go and meet Shannon and Rodney and to meet them, we gotta get on a ferry. So come on, let's go. All right, I'm gonna be super careful on the ice today. No more falling over. It is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. It is cold, but not as cold because there's no wind. So we're really close to the ferry terminal. We just got to go around the block to join the ferry lane. That's what we've got to do. Ferry traffic this way. Right, so we need to be in this lane for the ferry right, traffic. Right, we're in the queue for the ferry. You know how excited I get at airports? I get the same at ferry terminals as well. It's so exciting. Top pot, hand forged donuts and coffee. Now there's a place to check out if I ever saw one. Okay, after a short wait, we are off. Right, we are ready to board. What's it called? The Calitan? Yeah, there's two. They're oh right man, forward. this is amazing. The, the mountain views, I know you're not gonna pick them up, but they are amazing. Oh, we're going this way. Well, I've just been for a look around. So it's very spacious up there on that deck. It's very light and airy. There's lots of windows. The views are magnificent. I went out right on the very front. It's beautiful, but so cold. I can only stay out there a couple of minutes. As we're gliding across, I can see the shoreline in front of us. It hasn't taken long at all. I feel like we've been on here, what, like 10 minutes? So we're just about to dock at Kingston. So this ferry was Edmunds to Kingston. And we're off. Let's see what it's like this side. That's where we've come from, just over there. This is where we're going. This is such a beautiful part of America. Washington State is just glorious. I'm so excited to meet Rodney and Shannon. They've been through a real tough time because Shannon's dad's been so poorly and we weren't sure whether we'd get to meet up. So I'm delighted that we are gonna meet them today. Frozen. Yeah, a lot of ice down there. Well, we stopped at this gorgeous place for coffee and we were like, my Rodney and Shannon. And uh, Glenn's just had a look at his phone, realised we're not at the right place. So we're only about five minutes away though. This looked a nice place though, but not the right place. Okay, Sorry. right, we're back. We're back on, we're back on the road. Look, Viking over there. This place is just stunning. King Olaf free public parking. We're a little bit premature in our parking, but we'll walk the last bit. Look at this place, it's beautiful. It's like a, like a movie. 
We finally, we have finally made it. <laughs> found Shannon and Rodney, and we're in the right place. We're in the right cafe. We're in, uh, yeah, finally in the right place. So There's it's two. so two. good to meet you guys. It's so lovely. And are we going to go for a stroll and we, take yeah. in this beautiful street? Yes, we are. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Look at this place. It's just amazing. Norwegian that settled the town, yeah. settled the area, yeah. and so now they make it so you have to do a Norwegian theme in the town. That sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Look at these. This place. This is one Viking of the places. Viking cup. Oh, I like it. It's Look at that. Oh, a king cake for yeah. Right yeah. How <laughs> delicious. Look at these. Oh man, I would love it here. I would love it here. <laughs> and they have Viking Fest every year. Do they? Yeah. They're all about the Vikings oh, here, yeah. aren't they? All about the Vikings. We have lost uh, Glenn and Rodney. I think they're talking buildings. I think that's what they're doing. Is that where yeah, you're, you're gonna... We're coming down to the waterfront down here. There's a lovely path to walk along and it is just beautiful. Look at this. And does this this boardwalk go all the way around? Oh, how lovely is this? Come on, let's go. Oh, you have to pay more in the UK, yeah. I think I may have to. Crown Royal Peach, peach syrup, lemonade and iced tea. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We've just had a drink, haven't we? Yes, we that have. That was lovely. I had the peach yeah. iced tea. Well, you didn't say whether you yeah. loved it. Good. It was yeah. good. It was good. Uh, we're walking back this way because I want to walk past the cake shop. I want to go in and buy some of that deliciousness to take back with us. Yeah, the bakery's got a massive queue now. It's all good, isn't it? The queue is huge. So the king cake is yeah. from New Orleans. Yeah. And there's a little plastic baby inside. And whoever gets the little baby as the cake is cut has luck for a year. Really? Yeah. It smells so good. It smells lovely. Look at these. Look at these. That's all amazing. We, we're saying goodbye to these guys now. We are goodbye. saying goodbye. You're going to come and visit us, yeah? Yes, we are. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's an English telephone box. Right, Miss Swan, are you ready to see what's yeah, in on. here? Are you ready for this? Oh, wow. <laughs> They're amazing, aren't they? Jesus. These are maple dough boys, and these are these apple, are. walnut, cinnamon danishes with, with cream cheese topping. Look at those. Like gingerbread men, but made of donut. donut. Paul's bow is beautiful. Very Nordic. Nordic. It's, Nordic. it's beautiful. A lot of wearing kilts. Yes, yes. We saw a lot of people wearing kilts. It's lovely to see. Love it here. If you ever get the chance to come to Paul's bow, do it. Continue on Front Street northeast for three quarters of a mile. Look at those houses down there. Rodney was saying this is a really popular area, gets really busy in the summertime. Coming through. They're so, they're so sparkly, aren't they? Yeah. What a beautiful day we have had. It has just been so lovely. Glenn, what haven't you seen while you've been here? There's a very much of a lack of Renault cars here. Including I haven't seen one Renault Clio. Oh, actually, there hasn't. Actually, I haven't seen any Citroëns either. No French stuff. So here we are, back in the line for the ferry. Just spotted the boat over in the distance. I reckon that'll be about another ten minutes. The man in front of us, he's got a gun. I see them holster on his belt. I mean, it's in a holster. But it's a gun. It's just under his hoodie. Not sure how I feel about that. Scared, that's how I feel about that. that. That man has the capability to shoot people. Time to board again. So we're in the middle section of the ferry and we're not getting out. We're going to stay I, in. I, I was going to get out, but I have for the most biggest The truck. biggest truck next to Glenn with like inches, inches from his door. So we were just like, oh, we'll just stay in the ferry. I went to stand at the front for a very short time. It feels like the boat is flying. It is really going some. It doesn't feel like it when you're sitting in here, but it's so cold out there. It takes your breath away. And off we go. 
Oh, I love a ferry crossing. Love it. So, even though we're only two minutes from our hotel, I just said to Glenn, let's stop the car. Let's just have a look at the sunset. The sun is just setting and I just wanted to, to catch a glimpse. Not only is there a beautiful sunset, there's amazing mountains as well. Good morning and welcome to Monday. It's not just any Monday. It's Martin Luther King Monday. It's Martin Luther King Monday. It's a public holiday here. We had a delightful start to the day. Leslie, who lives in Canada, tracked us down, gave us a call. It was lovely to speak to her. So thank you, Leslie, for reaching out. And Leslie knows this area really well. And she's just given us a list of places that we need to visit or see or do today. So that's what we're gonna do. Come on, let's go. So one of the places Leslie said to check out is Linswood. She said it's a great shopping area and it's only 12 minutes from here. So we're gonna go and check that out. We're driving through Edmonds. It is a lovely area around here. I've got here. a question for everyone American. Okay. So we've, we're a little bit confused. Come to a stop sign yeah. with a crossroad and they've got a stop sign as well. And in the UK, that wouldn't be like that. What would happen is the main road was all, would always have the right of way. Um, and then the people coming in from the side streets would have to stop and when it was clear they could go But it seems when you get to these stop signs and all four traffic lines are, are stopped You no one knows who to, you know who has the right, who way. Has the right way or, or does no one have the right way? Maybe it's whoever gets to the line first as the Who's there? The option. The longest or... Yeah, it is it, it is different so this is Linwood. Lots of shops here. All sorts of different sorts of shops. We're just having a look. We are not going to stop and shop because obviously we've only got little bags. We're on the five. Heading north to Everett for a looky around. So we just stopped and had a look at the map of Everett and I, I was like, I was like, Glenn, there's an arbitorium and some gardens. And you know I love a good garden. So that's where we're heading. It's really colourful here. Glenn's just spotted that. New Year's resolution, drink more coffee. That was a lot going on at that junction. I shut my eyes. I've just noticed the roads are fine, but the paths are icy. Right. I'm gonna have to be super careful. Oh, I'm gonna have to be super careful because it's very icy. Let's go and have a look. So here we are, Evergreen Arbitorium and Gardens. Look at this snow, look at it. Here. here we are, here we are. Entry columns, Demo Garden, Conifer Garden, Viewing Mound, Rock Garden, Native Trail, Japanese Maple Grove. I mean, there's a lot here. Look at that gorgeous tree, look. <laughs> Everywhere's looking wintry, wintry. Still beautiful though. Now on the phone, Leslie told us about another area, another town to look at. And she spelled it out for me. And then the minute I got off the phone, I forgot what it was called. So I'm it ended Mish. Mish. Yeah. It did end in a ish. We've had a look on the map and I can't find it. We might have another look. Oh, the sun is glorious. Glenn's found a, a spot with no snow. I'm safe here. Well, I didn't fall over. Yeah, I didn't. Not at all. I mean, I did cling to Mr. Warner like a limpet. Now this is an amazing view down here. This I think is actually called View Road. So we're just going to sit here and take in the views. Let me show you. We have got mountains ahead of us. So we've admired the view. It was very lovely. Ah, oh, that is the place that Leslie was on about Snowmish. Wow, look at that. Did you see that dream lifter plane? It was huge. 
So we did a garden, which was my thing, and now we have come to Bowen's Future of Flight to have a look around. It was Michelle that told us that Bowen was based at Everett and that it was one of the biggest buildings. Uh, did she say the biggest building, mm -hmm. continual building in the country or something like that? But anyway, there's a lot of Bowen stuff going on here. So let's go and take a look. So here we are, Bowen's future of flight. A behind the scenes look at the Bowen Everett factory. Come on, Mr. Warner, let's look. So this is very exciting. We've booked in for the factory tour and I can't take my camera or my bag or any phones or any electronics on the tour, but we can film around here. So let's go and have a look. This was a module for, was this for space? Space station, yeah. Used for the space station. Oh, watch your head, Glenn. It had all the buttons, Glenn. So we've just got 10 minutes before our tour of the factory begins. So we're just going up to the sky deck to have a look. Thank you. Oh, you get to hear the air traffic control and the pilot. Little plane coming down. I love it how you hear the pilot and the air traffic control. There's another little plane about to come down. And I just love hearing the conversation. So we have to put everything in here. So you get to, you get to stay in there. We've just come out of the factory tour. It was a very good tour and that is the biggest building in the world. That was really interesting. That building was giant. It was huge. You could fit Disneyland in it. I can't remember which Disneyland no, they California. said. California. Disneyland would fit in that building. They make a lot of aeroplanes. We are now heading back to the hotel and I want to catch the sunset this evening. Yes, I do. Well, interesting news. It's not really very interesting, but as you know, I never get round to the comments or the Facebook comments or the messenger messages or the emails. I just never get round to it. Mr. Warner, oh look, he's doing the comments. Fingers crossed, he may continue. So I'm going to take a stroll, see if we can see another amazing sunset. Dog friendly beach over there. Dogs are loving it. Oh, it says what the mountains are. Mount Washington, Mount Pershing, Mount Stone, the Brothers, Jupiter, Anderson, Constance. just recorded the most gorgeous sunset and while we've been doing this we've been chatting to Kai. Is it Kai? It's Kai! It's Kai! It's Kai! Yeah. Look you're being recorded! Kai <laughs> is an amazing photographer and Kai has been taking amazing shots. I'm in awe and, and Kai's equipment He's got so much equipment there. <gasps> yeah, look, look, look at that, look at that. Oh, and he is go, just go, go. <laughs> he's taking amazing shots. So it's been really lovely talking to you, Lovely. And, and your names and again are? I, I'm Lisa. Lisa. And Glenn. And Glenn. And, and I'm Kai. <laughs> but, but you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah. You, right there. <laughs> Oh, that was so lovely. Not only did you get beautiful sunset, but great conversation. I love that. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. We are just about to check out the Best Western Plus Hotel in Edmonds. And we've had a great stay here. We've really, really enjoyed it. So, we're all packed. Let's go. Another beautiful day. So we are heading to Vegas today. We are leaving behind the cold weather and heading towards the warmth. But our flight's not until this evening, so we've got some time. So we are actually gonna stroll over into Edmonds, have a walk around the town. I just wondered what this building was. It looked like some sort of art gallery. And it's actually the wastewater treatment plant. 
Oh wow. More fancy. It does look fancy. We drove past this yesterday. Water feature that's frozen. The town's really quiet on this January morning. Stopped at the bookstore. Got myself a, a book for the journey. Is the theatre. The movie theatre that is. A lot of beautiful art here actually. Are those dogs there were waiting for a treat from uh, the shop. They get a treat every day, so that's why they were there. Uh, I asked if they were Newfoundlands, and no, they're mountain dogs. Different, Very but similar. Good. More beautiful street art. Let's go and find out about this one. Here we go. This whimsical mural was loosely inspired by the sights you may see while walking around Edmonds. The train is still going through down here. It's been going through for ages. It's a long yeah, train. Going down to right. Seattle? Yeah, I reckon. Oh my goodness. The train is still going. Still going. It's so incredibly long. When we it first started going through, we was right up the hill. Here we go. This train is still going. one last walk along the water's edge here looking at the Olympic mountains for the last time Ben's just said avoiding any slippery ice this is where I slipped over last time that was it our last walk around Edmonds I do love it it's beautiful right we are heading towards the airport now the hire car's got to go back our flight's not until later this evening so we'll see if we can stop somewhere and just see some sights before we get back to the airport now this is a junction mr warner there's cars everywhere there's cars everywhere stay focused on stay focused on your lane we're just about to join the five heading towards seattle Merge onto I-5. Oh, boat going past us. 70 miles an hour. We're doing the speed limit and people are just flying past us. So we're really close to the airport but we got some time and we've just seen a sign that says tourist activities i think it's camping though so so we're uh, we're just following the sign yeah don't know where to go now straight ahead do you think so we've come into arby's for some lunch i like it so far we've ordered ben's gone greek jars and i've gone ranch chicken our lunch at Arby's was good. We're heading to the airport now. We've got to drop the car off, get to the airport. We have got a couple of hours to kill, but I've got a good book anyway. So come on, let's go. Rental car return. We made it. Oh, what, you day. did walk this the other day. In the freezing cold. In the freezing cold. cold. Let's leave our car and go. Shuttle. go this way right well it's lucky that we got plenty of time because i think we're in the completely the wrong area we're just trying to find a person oh glenn's asked someone we've got to go two levels up and we've got to go this way well we've arrived in vegas finally what a long day of travel we just gotta wait for our luggage mom was the first bag off how lucky was that? Oh, this is lovely. This is very lovely. You did good, Mr. Warner. You did good. We came to Vegas 11 years ago. 
when we renewed our wedding vows. We had such an amazing holiday then with our friends Zara, Paul, Joe and Neil. I forgot how big the place is. I forgot how sparkly the lights are. I forgot it all. Wow, I can't believe we're here. It's so exciting. So we just had a little walk around, just got a quick sandwich. It's like, I don't even know what the time is. It's quarter to two. We're gonna get hit the sack now, but I forgot the weirdest thing is, you can smoke in this casino. So there's people downstairs with ashtrays. Not that I smoke, it don't matter, but it was, it was weird to see an ashtray and someone lighting up. I was like, oh, they shouldn't be lighting up a cigarette. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning to you and welcome to Wednesday from Vegas. So exciting. The view out of our window from the fifth floor, we look across the rooftops, we can see, I think that's New York, New York. I've just seen someone go around on the roller coaster. We're going for a little bit of a look around. Yes, we are. We're gonna go and explore. Come on, let's go. There's a lot of elevators in the lobby and the elevators are so fast as well. Quite the door's shut and before we know it, we're down. So we're still in the MGM Grand. We've just walked okay. through some of the machines, but we're in the sort of restaurant area now. This is so big, this place. We've passed by the restaurants now, but there's also a food court. Let's go check it out. Yeah. So we've got pizza. We've got Johnny Rockets, the original hamburger. We've got mmm. What's that? Nathan's, Nathan's that one. What's this? Pan, pan something, pan something express. And the original chicken tender, tacos, burritos. Well, there's lots to choose from. You don't even have to leave the hotel. And Hagen Das ice cream. We're still in the hotel, still walking. So we're looking for the exit, <laughs> we're still walking, but um, we found our way to the pool area, which is obviously shut this time of year. Oh no, it's not. There's people in there swimming. It looks very lovely. And this structure up here, I think, is the monorail. So we're walking around, we still haven't left the hotel. Mr. Warner's just said, there's not many signs that actually say exit. I was like, no, they want to keep us in here. Still haven't found the exit, but we've got to walk back through the, the gaming area. We found our way out, fresh air. Oh, it's warm, it's sunny, the air is fresher than in the hotel. Let's go explore. Wow, what a sight. New York, New York, hotel and casino. This is what we can see the top of from our hotel room. And if we turn around, here is the other entrance to the MGM. If you love M&Ms, this is the place to come to. Bit of building going on. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of traffic works here. But I've just spotted out the corner of my eye the Bellagio fountains going off, so let's go check that out. We're gonna go in through the Cosmopolitan and down. Now this is the Cosmopolitan and the night before me and Glenn renewed our wedding vows. This is where me, Zara and Joe came for a drink and I had the best pina colada I've ever tasted in my life here. We're getting lost in the, hot. We're, hot. we're hot and lost. We're just wandering, wandering we are. That's an impressive set of doors, isn't it? So we've walked through Cosmopolitan, we're making our way through to the Bellagio. Welcome to the Bellagio. Wow, because it's very close to Chinese New Year. Look at this, looks amazing. 
Let's go out and see the fountains. Ooh. Yeah. This place is stunning. What an amazing view that is. Well, you got there, Mr. Warner. Hot dog. So we stopped and had a hot dog at the Dirt Dog Bar. That's where we are. So good, like deliciously good. It's all a bit crazy in that bar behind us. It's all a little crazy. So that was delish. Vegas. Right, we've come into Target. Glenn wants to get some nibbles for later because the hotel's so expensive. Just sitting here watching the world go by. So Mr. Warner's going to play the uh, Wheel of Fortune. He's going to put in a hefty $10. I think you have to get three to spin the wheel. We're not quite sure what's going on. There we go, Mr. Warner. Wow, you made it to the board. Press any button below to spin. Let's see what Mr. Warner wins. Mr. Warner's on a winning streak. We're playing this one now. And look at the size of this knob. So we just played this machine and I thought it was a, a dollar a spin. It turned out to be ten dollars a spin. We had two spins. Game over. That's it. I'm going back now. Yeah, I, I feel like I've been robbed. Look at that. It's amazing. We're going to go and play blackjack. It's my favourite game. Come on. Let's go. It is so busy and noisy. A lot of people. Do you know, I am a people person. My daughter Beth, she would hate it here. Too people for for Beth. Uh, I, and I can see what she's saying. It's a lot. It's very, very exhausting when there's so many people. So, anyway. We have just ordered some food. My body is craving vegetables. It really is, but we're not got vegetables. We're going to share something. We both played the roulette for ages with our 25 cents at a time. We're not high rollers, um, but we did quite well. So we pulled out the tickets, so we might go back and put our tickets in and continue playing after we've beaten. And then definitely, I'm going to go to bed. Good morning and welcome to thursday now before i open the camera me and glenn just had a, a short conversation to try and decide what day it was i was like is it wednesday or thursday glenn is like 100 percent it's thursday yeah. oh it's not good morning anymore we've had such a lazy morning we have i mean i've done some editing i've done a bit of a facebook update i've done stuff yeah we we've sort of sat around we've watched catfish on mtv Glenn's had a shave. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the concierge in the hotel. I've written the letter to go out to everybody who gets a letter. I just need to work out how to get it printed and sent to you guys. So that's the first thing. Second thing, are we taking the monorail today? I'm going to convert the monorail because we need to get down the other end of town really. Yeah, See, I want to go later. to the pawn shop if possible. Okay. Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. It used to have a TV show years ago. I think it still runs the, the, the River Peaks now, but it's over. It's down near the Stratosphere. It's about a mile away. Okay. Let's head down that end. First stop, though, Concierge. So I've been to the Concierge. They've pointed me to the FedEx office just over here. So let's go take a look. So great use. The FedEx desk can print the letters. So that is good. Anytime I can go and access the machine, just got to get a code. We've got a ticket for the monorail. Let's go. It costs $13 each for a 24 hour ticket. So we're here 
We want to go all the way down there. We are passing so close to the spear. We're like next to it. Come to the end of the line on the monorail. So that's the stratosphere right there. Let's go and explore this area. I love the monorail. It's such a great way to travel. Elvis weddings. But you know, we can't remember which chapel we got remarried at. So Glenn's taking us on the right adventure to find the gold and silver. Is it called silver and gold? gold? The gold and silver pawn shop that he's seen on TV. We didn't get to where Mr. Warner wanted. I was like, Glenn, this isn't safe down here. And in the end, I said, no, I'm not going any further. We turn around. Well, we just stopped and had a Starbucks. I had a pistachio cold brew. It was the best thing I've ever tasted. Well, not ever tasted, but it was good. Before we go, we're going to have a go on this one. We got some sort of feature going on. Match three. Oh, you need to find one more of those, Mr. Warner. Oh, or oh, one more of those. We got three. We got three. What does that mean? We've won forty-eight dollars thirty-one. Well done, Mr. Warner. Oh look, we got drums and everything. Well done. You're a winner. Oh, we've come to the Sahara looking for the monorail. It's all golden in here. Let's get on this monorail. Glenn's having a look at the mechanics of the situation here. This looks so cool. So we've come off the monorail near Treasure Island, the Mirage and the Venetian. I was lying to you, this isn't the Venetian, this is the Caesar. This is Caesar's Palace and this is the forum shops. Not where I thought I was at all. Wow, we've actually been in here before, it's coming back to me, last time we came. Even the escalators are cool in here, look at that. Past Neptune's Fountain. So in here you lose track of what time of day or night it is, what the weather is like outside. This is all the expensive brands around here, Gucci, Louis Vuitton and the, I think that's the Fountain of the Gods, I think. So we're at the Cheesecake Factory, we're going to get salad. That's a whopper. We're going to share this one. So our cheesecake experience was glorious, it was really delicious. We're only a couple of minutes away from the next, the Atlantis show. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's, it's soon. different at night it really does it really comes alive how pretty does that look now we are here and we've got to go all the way down here all the way down here to there we just saw this in the shop downstairs easy cheese we've never had easy cheese before Cheese in a can, square cheese, one in the fridge either. We've got to give it a go. We've got to give it a go. So we've got some crackers too. Let's try the easy cheese. Easy cheese, the crackers and two drinks, nearly $30. Like squirty cream, Yeah. but cheese. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. Now I want easy cheese in my life. I like it. I forgot it was Thursday. 
I've only just got around to sending the newsletter out. In fact, I was going to get into bed and then I was like, Claire, what day is it? It was like Thursday. I was like, no newsletter. So I've just sent that out. And now I'm wide awake. So we're going to go downstairs and go and see if we can print the letter out. For people that get letters each month, let's go see if we can print it out. The man said we could earlier. We've been here some time jabbing at screens following the instructions but it's not working so we're going to come back down tomorrow and see the man good morning and welcome to friday today something a little bit different so yesterday we were stopped in the hotel in the mgm and asked if we wanted discount tickets to see a show we were like well actually we would yeah and this lady said that we could have two tickets to see Cirque du Soleil here at the MGM instead of the $89 each for $50 for the pair of us. We were like, that sounds great, thank you. She said, all we gotta do is go and take a look at a resort nearby. Glenn was a little bit, mm, is it legit? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. Glenn thinks one of two things are gonna happen today. Number one, we are gonna be subjected to some high pressure sales techniques to buy a timeshare, or we're not gonna end up with our bargain tickets, or both of those things. I was like, Glenn, don't be so negative. So that's where we're off to. Right now, it's early. It's like just gone eight o'clock. We need to be there for nine, and we've gotta get a taxi, which the lady's paid for. So come on. Let's go. So we've arrived. We took quite a while to get here. The taxi cost, how much did it cost? 20, well, 20 odd dollars. Yeah, 20 but but um, they're giving us that back, they said, in the form of a gift card. So come on, let's go and see where we've got to go. Well, we've just come out of our presentation and I can say this. Number one, I think it's a really good program. That's what I'm going to say. But it wouldn't work for us and our way of life. So we said no. There was no real hard sell. We said, are we sure? We were like, yes, we're sure. We've got our tickets. We've got all the gifts, they said. And you know what? It's actually been a really interesting morning. We're just back at the MGM Grand. We're just really going nice to... Taxi yeah, lovely taxi man. Gave us lots of tips of places to go. And we're just going to go and book our tickets for the show that we got at a bargain price of $5 each. Oh, we got our tickets. So lunch today is a stromboli. I think I'm saying that right. It's got sausage in. It looks like a sausage roll, but it's not. It's like a pizza wrap. So we're back at the FedEx place and there's a lady here who's pointed out exactly what we was doing wrong last night. So Glenn is just sending the letter to the printer and then that should print out. Right, we are off to Fremont Street. The hotel's busier tonight. It's got that Friday night feeling. It's very lively. We're here. We're here at Fremont Street. Come on, let's go take a look. Oh, let's get back to the MGM. 
we've just got back to the MGM Grand. I've got to tell you about our taxi driver. Look at that car, that's beautiful. So our lovely taxi driver is from Ethiopia and he's got a wife and two children in, in, Ethi in Ethiopia and he hasn't been home to see them for three years. He's working hard. So there we have it, Mr. Warner. This American holiday. I love Vegas. I love the craziness of it Very crazy. from a distance. Mm. I find myself craving two things. A cabin in the woods where it's really quiet and surrounded by beautiful trees and a plate of vegetables. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, they're the things I'm craving while we're here in this crazy place. We knew that. We've been here before. So there was six of us last time. It was different. Uh, it's full on. That's all I'm saying. It's full on. So that is it for this week. Next week is our final week, isn't it? So okay. next week is the final four week. We're heading back to LA and going to spend some time in Los Angeles before we leave. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying to the end of this epically long video. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye.